Oh yes, the World Cup is officially underway in Brazil. It's Mr. Flying Pig HD here. Host nation Brazil have just defeated Croatia 3-1 in the first game of the tournament in Sao Paulo. What do I have to say about this game? You were lucky, Brazil. You were very lucky. Referees had an absolute double day mare out there. Not just the mare, not just this individual single mare. No, a double day mare because there was two real bad decisions, I thought. Oh, I mean, you're looking at the teams beforehand. Brazil obviously got a lot of talent. Yeah, you've got a lot of talent, Brazil, but I was looking at Croatia, the lineup, you're looking at Modric, Rakitic, Olic, you know, all kinds of different itches. You've got Chorluka at the back there, you've got Serna, Lovren, you know, they look like a really solid team. And they are a solid team. They went out there, they certainly took it to Brazil. Uh, very dogged, very determined, very organised. And uh, Brazil sort of started the game really nervously. Marcelo scoring an own goal, unfortunate for him, of course. Looked like he wanted the bloody world to swallow him up. Uh, but that was an unfortunate start. But I couldn't help but laugh and go, come on, Croatia! Because, uh, you know, that's what you want to happen. You want to see the underdogs go out there and um, and just mix things up a little bit. It started the tournament really interestingly. You've got, uh, you know, Brazil, the host nation, a lot of expectation. The crowd fell silent, man, apart from the Croatia fans, obviously, who were going freaking mental, probably. Um, but, yeah, poor start from Brazil. They looked pretty ropey throughout the rest of the game, if I'm honest with you. There were some really good performances in there, but most of them, I thought, looked very average. And, uh, you know, as a team, you know, OK, they won the game 3-1. You know, maybe you can't say too much about them. But, you know, Croatia were ridiculously unlucky. Oh, they, you know, they, they go 1-0 up, then Neymar gets an equaliser with, to be fair, a lovely finish. It's a bit of a scuff shot, but right into the bottom corner. Keeper's not getting that one all. And then, you know, Brazil really looking quite poor for Croatia. Definitely looked the better team up until the point where um, Lovren just touches Fred, and Fred goes down like a sack of potatoes. Next thing you know, Neymar slotting the penalty in. Poor referee decision, absolute man, because he's barely touched him. It's a very soft penalty. What did you think about that? I want to know what you think. Soft penalty, I thought. Um, and then you've got uh, Pletikosa almost getting to the ball to save the penalty. He doesn't quite get there. Oh, he didn't really have a good night. Didn't cover himself in any glory. Then what happens? Well, Croatia start taking the game to Brazil. They're taking the game to Brazil, looking like they're going to get an equaliser. Oh, guess what? You know, oh, 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 oh. the goalkeeper, Julio Cesar, comes out. And he, uh, some people will probably start a new video here, but no, not me, not me. <laughs> he, uh, the goalkeeper comes out, Olic challenging him in the air, barely touches him, you know, Olic goes in for the ball, Julio says he goes to catch the ball, doesn't catch the ball, play continues, Croatia slot it in the, in the back of the net, should be too all. Nothing wrong with that goal, in my opinion. What do you think? I don't know, I mean, there's barely any contact. Julio says he goes to it. I mean, it's just a very, very bad decision because it could have got Croatia right smack bang back into that game. But then what happened? Well, Oscar, a bit of brilliance, fantastic performance from him all day long, to be fair, with his range of passing, finding people very creative. Great player, Oscar, today. And uh, he deserved his goal at the end there, which was a lovely, mazy little run. Kept the ball for a long time, you know, dribbling. Just when you think he's going to take it a little bit further, steady himself for a shot. No, he just puts a little cheeky toe ender away. Toe ender dribbles into the bottom left-hand corner. Pletikosa should be getting there, really, to be fair. But it was just like quite an unexpected shot. He just like toe pokes a little dribbler. And uh, he knew exactly what he was doing, though. It was a fantastic goal and a fantastic performance from Oscar. But Croatia can feel very hard done by because there are a couple of decisions there which were just, quite frankly, gash-tastic. What did you make of them if you watched the game? I hope you did. What did you make of uh, the decision today? Do you think Croatia deserved something from that game? I certainly think that they did. But the host nation, fair play to them. You know, they got the result. Uh, they'll they'll go on to you know better things in this tournament. I'm sure the favourites for a reason. They have got a very good squad. Spain lost their first game in 2010 and they went on to pretty much win. I think they won. Yeah, yeah they did win every other freaking game. So um, you know I wouldn't I wouldn't say this is necessarily a good indicator of what Brazil are going to do in this tournament because yeah it was a poor performance from them. They got the result and they've got a squad full of very talented players. Neymar getting a, a brace looked very lively today. Uh, not his best performance, but. You know, he was he was a key part of all of their meaningful attacks today. And he got himself two goals, already the leader in the uh, the World Cup Golden Boot. Of course, this has only been one freaking game. But out of the players that have played, he's the, he's the leader. Um, and I expect him in Brazil to score quite a few more goals and possibly be somewhere in the running for the Golden Boot by the end of it. Because Brazil are realistically going to get pretty far. But yeah, it was, a really, it was a really good start to the World Cup. Really fantastic start. I'm looking forward to it big time. Spain versus the Netherlands tomorrow. England versus Italy on Saturday night. Oh, football World Cup. Oh, it's just it's just orgasmic, isn't it? I'm going to have a mangasm just thinking about it. But anyway, uh, what did you make of the game? I'd 
please let me know below, comment below, give this video a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Keep a lookout for all the next videos. I may be making, you know, a review of the Spain Netherlands game. I just pray, basically made a review of this particular game because it's the first game in the World Cup, Brazil, host nation. And I just had to have my say because there were some incidents in the game. So that's what I think. But uh, there will be some more videos coming soon, World Cup reviews. I'm actually traveling in the United States of America this summer. Uh, unfortunately, I probably won't be able to do a lot of you know, reaction live after the uh, Uruguay-England game. You know why? Oh, because I'm on a freaking plane to Los Angeles. Oh, nice. Nice, yeah, maybe I should have thought about that a few months ago when I freaking booked it. But anyway, I'll probably do like some review when I land in NAX, just going, why the freak did I watch this game? <laughs> but, uh, you know, so look forward to that. Oh, yeah, but uh, there'll be videos coming, all sorts of videos, and popping over to Mexico, catch a Mexico game in a bar, you know, there'll be reactions and stuff. It's going to be mental. So keep a lookout for that. Let me know what you'd like to see, if you've got any ideas. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at MrFlyingPigHD, but most of all, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that game, and I hope this is going to be a freaking good World Cup. Come on, England, even though they're realistically going to have an absolute day, mate. But, you know, you, you could always, you've got a dream, don't you? You've got a dream, but fair play. Oh, yes, the World Cup's underway. Come on!